friends, today I am back again with another installment of how to be a pinup model. And today's video is all about how to prepare for a shoot. I get girls all the time emailing me whether it's their first shoot or their hundredth shoot and they're always asking questions about how they should prepare and what they should bring and what they should do and blah blah blah, all those things. Plus I also do hair and makeup for shoots a lot when I travel and there's always things where I'm like, ah, why didn't this girl do this thing before she came? So today we're going to talk about how to prep. So the big major thing or topic in prepping for a pinup photo shoot is grooming. This is one that girls very, very often neglect and there are lots of different aspects of grooming that you should be um, aware of before you go to a shoot. So one, always groom your eyebrows. Make sure your eyebrows are freshly tweezed or waxed or threaded or whatever you do to them. Um, just to make sure that the makeup looks the best it can possibly look. Also make sure that you are shaving. Shave your armpits, shave your legs, shave your bikini area, any area that has hair on it that you do not want stubble in a picture, make sure you shave. Also make sure that you are wearing fresh nail polish. Now, here's one thing. A lot of the time girls for pinup shoots want to wear red nail polish. Most of the photographers that I know actually prefer nude nail polish. And the reason for this is that if there is um, a certain backdrop or a certain outfit where red really clashes, sometimes red fingernails look really weird in a picture. So do whatever you wanna do. If you want to wear red nail polish, that's totally fine. But just know that nude is kind of a better neutral because the focus should be your outfit and your makeup and your hair and all that and not your fingernails. Red is good in person, but sometimes translates a little bit weird in photographs. Make sure you exfoliate. Exfoliate your entire body. You can make a sugar scrub at home. You can use some sort of other exfoliant if you would like. Exfoliate your body and exfoliate your face just to make sure that your skin is as glowy as possible in photographs. And along with exfoliating, you also want to make sure you moisturize. Moisturize your body and moisturize your face. It is best to come to a photo shoot with a clean, bare face that is freshly moisturized. Another great thing to do is actually bring lotion to your photo shoot because a lot of the time a photographer will want you to put lotion on right before you start to shoot just so your skin looks its best and it's got a little bit of shine to it because sometimes in a, uh, in a photograph, if it's not freshly moisturized, your skin looks kind of dead. Another good thing to do the night before is a good mask on your skin or on your face. You don't have to do a mask on your body, that'd be weird. Um, but just a good face mask depending on what type of skin you have. So if, it's an, if you have oily skin, make sure you do a good scrub. And if you have dry skin, make sure you do a nice moisturizing mask but masks will help your skin to be the best it can possibly be for the day of your shoot. Also make sure that your hair is day old. So wash your hair the day before your shoot. Do not wash your hair the morning of the shoot. Even if you think you have oily hair, um, most of the time you do not, unless you have like crazy, 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 crazy fine hair and you are sweaty or you've gone to the gym or something like that, there's usually no exception to the rule. So wash the night before. If you have curly hair, do not flat iron, but do make sure that you blow dry the night before so that it relaxes a little bit of that curl so that it makes curling with the iron the next day a little bit faster and easier. Okay, so let's talk packing. You always wanna make sure you bring a nude thong and a nude bra. It doesn't have to be a thong if you don't own a thong, just make sure it is nude underwear, especially if the wardrobe is going to be provided for you. If you're wearing a bathing suit or lingerie or anything that's kind of up in your business, you wanna make sure that you're wearing underwear underneath so it's a protection between your private business and clothing that other people may have worn. It's really to save yourself and other people from potential infections, which are not fun. Also make sure you have a nude bra and that's just so that it isn't see-through, just in case you're wearing something see-through. Also do not forget your shapewear. I've had girls forget their shapewear so many times. Make sure if you want your waist cincher or your garters or your stockings, anything that you want to wear underneath your clothing, do not forget. A lot of the time people have wardrobe, they do not have actual shapewear. Sometimes places that have wardrobe will have decorative corsets, but they won't actually have things that will make you look good underneath your clothes. Also, if you are set on wearing shapewear, do listen to the photographer because some photographers do actually do a lot of Photoshop to where you won't need as much shapewear. Um, and sometimes shapewear can make you sort of bubble and lump and bump in weird places that looks odd in the photograph or might actually make the photographer's job harder. So listen to your photographer on what they prefer. And that kind of goes in general. And also listen to your makeup artist and your hair people. If they suggest something, listen to them. If you are gonna wear stockings or nylons, make sure you are wearing closed toed shoes. Stockings and nylons look really strange with peep toes. So just make sure that you either go bare legs and peep toes or stockings and closed toed shoes. And also make sure you bring lots of shoe options, especially if there is going to be a wardrobe provided, because sometimes studios will have lots of wardrobe, but only minimal shoe options. So just make sure that you bring lots of options so that you can match with things. And don't forget your shoes. I did a shoot once where this poor girl forgot her shoes and she lived like five hours away. So 
That is not fun. Also, don't forget to bring jewelry and hair accessories. That's the thing sometimes girls focus so much on their wardrobe and their shoes that they forget about earrings and necklaces and bracelets and gloves and all the fun things, the hair accessories and scarves and stuff like that. So just make sure you bring some options for jewelry as well. And also remember that more is better. Don't get me wrong, there is definitely the exception to this rule because I have seen girls that bring like five suitcases and that's a little excessive but I've also seen girls that bring only one outfit and then they see all these other girls with all these options and they are super bummed out and it kind of um, makes them a little sad before their shoot which is never good for your picture so make sure you bring lots of options especially if you don't know what the set is going to be like bring some bathing suits some lingerie some dresses some pencil dresses some full dresses just have lots of options and don't forget your crinoline. Also make sure that you iron your wardrobe. A lot of girls will bring wardrobe just crumpled into a suitcase and they pull it out and it's like, cool, now all my clothes are wrinkly. Sometimes studios will have steamers or an iron and sometimes they won't. I'd say probably a third of the places I shoot do have it and the rest of them don't. So just make sure that everything is nice and freshly pressed. If you need to put everything in a garment bag, that's fine. Honestly, usually when I go to a shoot, I just put everything over my arm and just keep it all loose so that it stays wrinkle free. So before you leave for your shoot, you want to make sure that you practice your poses and your facial expressions. If you are having a hard time with this, I have lots of videos on poses and facial expressions. The links are gonna be up here. Um, but just make sure that you kind of feel comfortable, you have a few ideas of what you want to do. Another great thing too is to just bring a book of pinups and then you can use that kind of as like your pose inspiration. Because a lot of the time you'll practice stuff but when you get in front of the camera you get a little nervous so that's a good way. Or even just take selfies in the mirror of you with poses that you like and then just have that as a reference at your shoot. You also want to make sure that you eat before a shoot. It doesn't have to be a lot and I don't love to eat a ton before a shoot either just because you want to keep the belly slim and all of that. But especially if you're going to be nervous, you want to make sure that you eat because the last thing you want to do is pass out or get sweaty or faint or any of that. Um, so just make sure you eat a little something. A good thing is like a stick of cheese and a few almonds or a piece of fruit or a banana or just something besides coffee. Don't just drink coffee and no food because then you'll get shaky and it'll be bad for everybody involved. Also make sure you hydrate. Hydration is key and this goes for probably the week before the shoot. Drink way more water than you ever thought you needed. It'll make your skin look amazing. It'll make your body look amazing. It'll help to just pump everything out and make you look so good. My last piece of advice when prepping for a photo shoot is to leave early. Do not be late. Oh my gosh, my number one pet peeve as a hair and makeup person is when girls are late. Even if you're five minutes late, when we have girls scheduled back to back to back, if every girl is five minutes late, that puts our entire shoot back a half hour. So. If every girl's 10 minutes late, that puts our entire shoot back an hour. And it sucks for the girls that have to go after you if they have like a doctor's appointment or a babysitter they have to get back to. It also just sucks for me because you're wasting my time and you're wasting everybody's time that is on set. So whatever time you think you need to get to a shoot, give yourself an extra half hour. And if you get there crazy early, sit in your car and read a book or thumb through Facebook. Honestly, a lot of the time girls show up to my shoots early. I just let them in and we can hang and it's cool if you're early. And then if I get done early, I can just start on you. But I would much prefer you to be early than late. So that is it. That is all my prepping for pinup photo shoot advice. If you guys have anything else that you would like to add, please do it in the comments below. I love when you guys share your tips and tricks with each other. It always starts good conversations. So as always, thank you guys for watching and good luck on your photo shoots. And I hope to see lots of you babes the rest of the year on my photo shoots. All right guys, see you next time. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Be sure to check out these other videos that I have posted to see more of my wackiness. And if you want to see even more of my wackiness, be sure to subscribe for all things that are vintage and retro and general silliness.